I've noticed an interesting theme in the beginner skate community, and that's a totally understandable aversion to relearning a trick. Skaters will tell you to make sure that you learn the trick correctly the first time, or they'll even claim that there is only one proper way, one acceptable way to learn a trick, otherwise you're going to have to relearn it later. I think it largely ignores another significant truth, and that's that there's no way of getting around relearning tricks for most of us. I also think it's okay to accept that most of us will have to relearn tricks, maybe lots of them, and I don't think that we should be afraid of that, but embrace it, and here's why. Let me just speak from my own experience from general to specific. First of all, most skate tricks are based on motor skills that were so foreign to me as a beginner, they were impossible to learn properly from the beginning. I do think that there are best practices when learning them. I was definitely able to cut out a few major bad habits by doing this. For example, with my kickflip, I was able to completely skip over the phase where you flick down to get the kickflip and jump right into flicking out. And that definitely saved me a lot of time needing to correct that. So it's definitely worth the effort to avoid this where you can. But the truth is that most skills I've acquired were just simply impossible for me to learn quote unquote correctly the first time around. I feel that I am continually learning and relearning my tricks as I finesse my skills, as I understand the tricks mechanics better, and as I find what's more comfortable for me. Of course, I always shoot for good form, but I also try to remember that the important part is putting in all of that messy work to improve my skills. Because the other side of this is that there were many tricks I thought I was doing correctly, only to find out I simply wasn't. For example, I had been doing finger flips wrong since the very beginning. I just didn't know it. I was landing them out of luck and not skill. It took a ton of trial and error to finally figure out what my problem was and then how to fix it. Once I figured it out, it did take me from zero to high consistency very quickly, but it just took a lot of ugly practice for me to get there. There are also many ways to do the same trick. I have learned three different ways just to do a shove it in my regular stance, and they all require different motor skills. I'm actually relearning these intentionally because I want to find a method that's more comfortable for me and suited to my style of skateboarding. And then when I do a shove it nollie or fakie, I use a completely different method. Small changes like getting a new board, new wheels, or new trucks can affect how I have to do my tricks. For example, I cannot shove it on my street deck the same way that I do on my freestyle one. And that's because the difference in how tight my trucks are make one deck a lot more prone to flipping than the other. And I've learned how to approach this trick differently on each deck. If I get a brand new deck this weekend with kicktails that are much steeper and a wheelbase that's a lot longer than my current board, I'm going to have to make all kinds of small adjustments and perhaps relearn my tricks accordingly. I might need to use more power to get the same snappy pop I'd get on the smaller board. And while it's not completely relearning the trick, I'm still retraining all of my muscle memory. Comfort killed my kickflips, ollies, and caspers. I'd start to get them really well and subsequently relax too much. My form and effort slacked before reaching the point of solid muscle memory. I'd forget small keys for the tricks as I got farther and farther away from the time I started learning them. And so I'd lose tricks and have no idea why. For Caspers, it was as simple as poor foot positioning. And once I finally figured it out, once I fixed it, I was back to where I started within one session. And it was all because I relaxed a bit too much. I got too comfortable with the trick, slacked on the form, and it set me back miles without me realizing why. So even something like getting too comfortable is something that has set my progress back and it's taken a long time for me to figure out what the actual problem is. Luckily, I'm aware that this is an actual issue now and can start to address it when I feel that the problem with a certain trick is just that I was slacking. Varial rail flips were killed by a couple of rolled ankles that made me too afraid to work on them for months. And now I can barely do them. I simply have to go back and relearn them sometime in the future.
The good news is that in my experience, relearning a trick is always easier than learning it for the first time. I have a lot of the foundation still, and I have even more skills that I've acquired in the meantime. So in a way, I'm set up for success to relearn the trick. And I'm sure this is going to be a little bit different for everybody because I've learned all of these tricks within the last two and a half years anyways. I'm sure it's going to be a slightly or vastly different case for somebody who's been skating for years and years and might have to really work with deeply ingrained muscle memory for some of their tricks. But the important thing is that it's still possible. The thought of relearning tricks used to scare me too. But then I remembered recently that there's a great concept among writers. And that's the idea that I am not a writer, I am a rewriter. And as forced as that comparison might seem, I do think we can apply it to tricks. I don't learn a trick. I don't unlock it and then it just exists for me to use whenever I want. I'm constantly learning it and improving on it and making it better. I don't want to be a master of skateboarding. I want to be a student, but that's just me.